American people standing up to the Soviets. America needs Nixon. These are some of the phrases added as this photo was displayed during Nixon's presidential campaign. Moscow, the heart of world communism, yesterday became, for a day, the headquarters of an unprecedented and startling international debate, featuring on the one hand Soviet Premier Nikita Khrushchev, on the other, the Vice President of the United States, Richard Nixon. If you are living in the early 60s, you might remember this poster. The old adage states, a picture is worth a thousand words, and behind every picture, there is a story. This is one of those photos where the story is just as good as the picture. Let's take a closer look. How many times have we heard that truth is in the eye of the beholder? We have seen it many times in history of photography and photojournalism. Some photographs are just not what you think they are. Sometimes the composition is corrected later in the post, sometimes the picture of casual moments is staged and sometimes the story behind the photograph is just completely different than the reality. The medium of photography represents the vision of the artists as it captures a two-dimensional representation of their three-dimensional reality. Oftentimes a good photo needs no explanation, however, in photojournalism it is often crucial to describe the situation so the picture is not misinterpreted. The photographers are the final authority of the photo when it comes to sharing the story. But what if the story of your photographs got hijacked and misinterpreted? What would you do? This is actually what happened to Elliot Arvid. The French-born American photographer known for his advertising and documentary photography was put into a situation where his story was turned upside down. It was July 24, 1959, when then Vice President Richard Nixon visited the American National Exhibition in Moscow. The exhibition was showcasing the American art, fashion, cars, model homes, kitchens and more in typical American houses. It was basically introducing American lifestyle to wider public in Soviet Russia. The now famous kitchen debate happened in the house called Splitnik, which was created from the words Split and Sputnik, the name of the satellite Soviets launched into orbit two years before. It is here in Splitnik where the moment in the time split the very story Elliot Arvid captured. Anyways, the photograph happened in a typical Arvid's fashion. He was in Moscow working for Westinghouse, taking pictures of refrigerators and their installation for Macy's kitchens. When Nixon famously pointed his finger at Khrushchev, nobody from the media was there. Only me. I happened to be at the right place, at the right time, Arvid said. By sheer luck, I guessed correctly where they would turn up next, which was at a display of a modern kitchen behind a barrier. With a direct view and no one to push and shove, I circumnavigated Nixon and Khrushchev, finding my best range. From then on, it was like shooting fish in a barrel. This seems to be a recurring theme of Arvid's photographs. The best things happen because you just happen to be somewhere with a camera. Some of my colleagues in Magnum go to places on purpose to do news, but the historic pictures I have made have been by sheer accident. But how pictures can lie. The illusion is one of Nixon standing up to the Soviets while the reality was an argument about cabbage soup versus red meat. The argument about cabbage soup and red meat was little twisted to help Nixon in the campaign. This twist, however, was not enough to overcome JFK. When you look at the contact sheets, it actually seems like the discussion was rather friendly and we can even see Khrushchev in the similar position as Nixon before. Remember that truth is in the eye of beholder? That is why photography as a medium can never be 100% objective. Simply because of what is included or left out is chosen by the photographer. When I started studying photography and looked for the sources to learn from, the answer I found very often was, look at the pictures of great photography masters. You may often realize it will teach you more than just composition techniques. If there is one thing we can take from this story, I think it would be 
A simple twist to reality can change the narrative of a single photograph. News and the media will push you to decide why a photo is the way it is. However, if you look at the photo both subjectively and objectively, you might discover its truth, which is, I think, in today's fast digital age, very important. At the end of the day, you are the beholder. Thank you for watching.